first of all, I have to show you a chart. Come into my terminal here at GTV Go. The story of the day has to be those margins. Is the margin picture for you what you needed to see this quarter? Look, that's the key. I mean, if you look at the margins of profitability, that's the major feather in the cap for the bulls. And I think that's a surprise. I mean, this is really something that Musk and Fremont need to deliver here. Margins are the focus on profitability. And this is something where if they can maintain this, this would be a potential game changer for them going forward. But Dan, the problem is you can't cut your way to growth. So if you're seeing a top line decline for the first time since 2012. Is it sustainable to cut your way to growth? Look, in our opinion, that's going to be the challenge for them to navigate profitability while they're trying to get the growth, given what's happening in China. That's going to be the key in the conference call, a major short covering that you're going to see. But that's really the key here for Musk and Tesla to navigate going forward. Dan, part of the profit picture and the revenue picture has been the composition that we've talked about between the S, the X, and the Y, and all of those, and then the Model 3, which is that lower margin. How do you feel about the composition? It's going to be, look, with Model 3, given where margins are, that's going to be the difficulty to get there from a margin perspective, given what's happened in S and X. Y is going to be key going to 2020. That will be a big focus on the conference call, as well as China and the Giga 3 build out. So, Dan, you brought up the conference call. What is your question going to be to management? Biggest question is 2020 profitability. What does it look like with the China build out? And what does sustainable demand look like into next year? What the composition is. That's going to be the key here for Musk and Tesla. This is a major positive for the Bulls. Is it sustainable? That's what they need to show in the conference call. Well, and as you mentioned, all eyes are on 2020 profit. Dan, I show you another chart here that what I'm looking at inside my terminal, and it is a very similar story, which is free cash flow. We are getting positive free cash flow, but is it sustainable? That's the point. I mean, will they be able to sustain free cash flow? And will they eventually have to raise more capital? They put that off the table today in terms of these numbers. But as we've seen with Tesla, it's been a one step forward, two step back story. That's going to be the key going forward. Are you confident that they can produce 1,000 vehicles a week in Shanghai by the end of the year? I am not confident in that. I think that's going to have to be delayed. That will be a focus on the call in terms of China because ultimately, for Tesla stock and for production demand to go higher, it all depends on Giga 3. And that's going to be a focus in terms of what the timing looks like on China. So, Dan, a share price reaction 10, 20 percent in after hours trading. Is that warranted? Look, I think it's more of just a massive short covering. I mean, no one thought you'd see a profit this quarter and obviously a profit into next quarter. You'll see a knee-jerk reaction. This is a step in the right direction. The stock's going to get re-rated higher. A 20% move, in my opinion, is overdone. We'd be a seller of that move.